This morning, for the first time, a missile fired from Yemen penetrating Israel's air defenses, triggering air raid sirens, pieces of it landing near Israel's main airport. The Houthi militia saying its hypersonic missile attacks will continue as long as Israel remains in Gaza. Late Friday, the IDF taking us right into the Philadelphia corridor along the Gaza-Egypt border. The road freshly paved, a giant Israeli flag flying. Israel's Prime Minister Netanyahu says he won't sign a ceasefire and hostage release deal unless Israel maintains control of the Philadelphia corridor. Hamas calling that a non-starter. The area honeycombed with Hamas tunnels, this one big enough to drive a truck into. The IDF says that this tunnel was built right underneath a mosque used as cover. They also say that this is one of the centers of operation for the entire Rafah Brigade, the hub of so many tunnels in this area, up to 200 that were apparently here. But they wanted us to see another tunnel, so we rolled into the wreckage of Rafah. The destruction here is jaw-dropping. It is absolute pancaked buildings. You see household goods strewn everywhere. And this goes on as far as the eye can see. The convoy stops. The IDF is extremely edgy where we are right now in the neighborhood of Tel Sultan. Nearby the 60-foot deep tunnel where those six hostages were found two weeks ago. Do you believe that there may be additional hostages in this area in Tel Sultan? We are investigating. Our assumption is that there are no, not any other hostages, but we are very, very careful when we operate. Israeli security sources believe about 50 hostages remain alive. The IDF saying Hamas has been defeated here, but resistance remains. You can hear all that gunfire. Um, there's still some active fighting here. The IDF says that it's mostly small cells of Hamas that pop out of tunnels. Over 1.4 million people displaced from the Rafah area. Over the weekend, the Hamas-run health ministry in Gaza saying 64 people were killed, scores wounded, including this father consoling his son as medical staff tend to him. In over 20 years of covering conflict, I've never seen destruction like that. The camera can't quite capture the scope of it all. The IDF says it wouldn't target those areas if Hamas didn't hide among civilians. But what's clear is it'll take many years to rebuild places like Rafah, unclear where hundreds of thousands of Palestinians will live in the interim. Matt Gutman, ABC News, Tel Aviv.